For too long, parent-teacher conferences have operated like fast food restaurants, with efficiency trumping real care, uniformity being favored over depth of experience, convenience and brevity being the focus instead of collaboration, and failing to serve the most important customer, the student, who without voice or agency becomes, in essence, the meal. Hi, my name is Mark Silberg, and I'm the Director of Learning and Innovation at the Little Red Schoolhouse in Elizabeth Irwin High School, a pre-K through 12 progressive independent school in New York City. Our Teachers Guild team would like to suggest that a more useful metaphor is the conference as a family dinner. For us, family dinner is a time to connect, step outside of the routine to the day, relax, relate, tell stories, and cultivate a sense of who we are as a family. Family dinner conferences should be designed with the following ingredients, which we think are absolutely essential to any endeavor that seeks to make conferences more meaningful. We've identified a number of recipes that we think are ideally suited to these ingredients and will provide a healthier alternative for parents, teachers, and students. But all these more formal dinner recipes will never find a real following if we continue to fail to connect teachers, parents, and students on a daily basis. So that's why we want to move past the metaphor of family dinners and really talk about family dinners. What if teachers were in more regular conversation with parents about the compelling ideas and experiences that were taking place in their classrooms and provided parents with related conversation starters to use during family dinner? What if teachers asked students to speak with their parents during dinner about their parents' learning experiences and how they might connect with the issues and ideas being explored in class? And what if we let kids and parents use their cell phones at the dinner table to record some of these insights on social media, hashtag family dinner, so that those conversations could become part of a shared classroom community conversation? What if schools really thought about narrowing the distance between the classroom and the dining room table? We think that the narrowing of that distance would have to have some interesting positive impacts on the more formal conferences, regardless of how they might be structured in a given school. We hope you'll join us as we continue to explore the possibilities of family dinner on the Teachers Guild.